it's very easy to diagnose a fault between two connectors, but when it comes time to carry out the repair, things can get a little tricky. Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. So we've carried out the voltage checks and isolated the open, short or resistance to a section of harness between the ECM and the sensor or actuator. But now we have to find and repair the fault in a harness that is wrapped tightly around the engine, or it may even pass through the bulkhead and continue to the rear of the vehicle. We know the fault's in there somewhere, but we need to take a logical approach to finding it. Most vehicles don't fuse circuits between the ECM and a sensor or actuator. This is generally because the ECM itself is fused or the control drivers or monitoring circuits are current sensitive. This makes locating faults in signal and reference circuits more difficult. Start by performing a visual inspection of the harness and connectors. There may be some very obvious damage to a section or the connector terminals may be touching. This may be the result of accident damage or a previous repair. Move the harness against its mounting brackets to confirm there is enough flex to allow for normal engine movement and vibrations. Look at cables and harness insulation for any discoloration that may indicate a stress point. The next step is critical. Is the time and effort in finding the fault worth the expense? Or is it more cost effective to simply purchase and install a new harness? To check out the rest of this module, and our extensive video library, head over to our website to get access to the most advanced automotive technical training available.